Hey everybody, Raven here, and today I want to share with you what I purchased at the Grapevine Coin Show down in Texas the other day. I was hanging out with my man, Rob Finds Treasure. We had a great time, and we found a lot of really good stuff. Matter of fact, I'll start it with these Canadian mint sets here. They're basically proof like I have a 1963. Really, really nice. Unfortunately, it didn't have the envelopes that you can sometimes get them with, but these are still in great condition. This is a 1964 that has the special commemorative, and uh, these are 80% silver for the half dollar, dollar, dime, and quarter. The penny is copper, and the nickel is actually nickel. Then I was really fortunate and lucky to get two of the 1967 mint sets in proof light condition you got the bird scent the howling wolf the the mackerel i think that's a salmon or a mackerel i forget now uh, the bobcat and the rabbit and these are some really really nice sets like i said mint sets that are basically proof like you can see the cameo on the queen there um, i got two of these and they're both in excellent condition was really really fortunate to come across some of the things that i got in today's video a couple items that are just top-notch hard to find things starting off with this one right here this is a 1949 casa de moneda and there are only one million of these minted this is basically considered the key date of the casa de monedas and um, just a really awesome coin from mexico if you did not know that and they're sterling silver so get to add that to the collection possibly we'll see you never know more than likely a, a number of these will end up in a auction coming up soon but i wanted to share with you guys what i found so here we have a 1944 un peso from mexico brilliant uncirculated look at the cartwheeling on this coin here it is just a phenomenal specimen then i was really lucky i got my hands on two of the eight reals this one was minted in mexico 1896 and in really really good condition there then i got my hands on three of the 1950 cinco pesos train coins these are very hard to get your hands on my friends um, matter of fact a number of these were melted down to produce the 1968 olympic coin so these are far and few between these days but i got extremely lucky and found three of them at the coin show um, honestly i've gone to many shows many coin shops and they're very 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 hard to get all right and this is one here is an aubu the last one i showed was an au the first one was the bu just very very nice three different grades going on right there and um then we come across a couple really nice, beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated uh, Walking Liberty half dollars. This is a 1942 and is just a stunner. Uh, really happy to get my hands on it. We have a 1941 as well that's brilliant, uncirculated. And Peppa's in the background, whining at the door. Uh, we have a 1920 Pilgrim in just phenomenal shape. Again, another one that I was happy to get my hands on. You can see the nice cartwheeling it has there, the mint luster going on for that coin. And a 1936 Oregon, Oregon Trail in brilliant uncirculated condition. This thing is a stunner, ladies and gentlemen. And that, that is just a really, really nice coin. It's got a lot going on in the coin, a lot of detail on there, and uh, just really happy to get my hands on it. Next item coming up from 1960, a 10 peso. This is a commemorative 90% silver and uh, has 0.8359 for the silver weight. Really, really nice one. I didn't notice that it has this one little scratch here, but overall, this is a nice one to have in your collection. And if you can find them in this condition, even with the little ding there, they're kind of pricey for what they are, to be honest. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is an 1894 8 reals Zacatecas, which these ones are actually more rare 
to get and I was very very fortunate has a lot of die cracks going on the front of the coin let me see if I can get some of those so you guys can see it a little better let me see here right here in between the cap and rays and all around up top you can see up here there's die cracks going through this coin and just a very very cool one to have in very nice condition from 1894 then from 1953 we have a Año de Hidalgo this is another commemorative five pesos very very nice condition on this one as well like I said there was a lot of great stuff to be found at this show this next one here from 1964 to 20 centavos MS-65 is what the dealer had on it and the toning on this thing is just phenomenal this is a copper coin and I really really like this one quite a bit that's why I grabbed it but very cool then we have some silver from Cuba 1953 in decent condition 1939 Mexico 20 centavos and again BU 72% silver on that little coin there and it just has amazing detail then from Ireland we have a couple coins this first one's copper from 1933 it's got the pig on the front and then the Irish uh, harp on the other side I have a couple people that are always asking for Irish coins, so I picked a couple up. This next one is actually from 1939 and is a shilling and it is silver. Has 0.1364 ounces of silver weight to it. And like I said, I don't see a lot of Irish coins, so when I can get my hands on them, I do grab them. And we have two 1952 from Cuba. One's 20 centavos right here. And it's got silver. These are 90% silver from what I remember. And from 1952, a beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated 10 centavos, again from Cuba. Very, very nice coin. Then we have a number of PCGS slabbed and certified quarters that I got, a 1944 Denver Minted MS-64. All of the quarters are MS-64. We got a 54 Philly. Very nice. 44D actually two 44Ds <laughs> and a 46S I got these because I really like slabbed quarters and silver so those are really cool we had a 1945 Denver minted Mercury MS65 full split bands NGC slabbed and certified that is a beauty to have in anyone's collection, especially with a full band designation and an MS-65 grade is nice to boot. And then last but definitely not least, and one of my absolute favorites, is a 1944 Philly MS-64 PCS slab and certified in a Rattler. If you don't know about Rattlers, you can do this for a little while and you'll see the coin actually rotate. That's why it's not perfectly up and down. Um, this is when PCGS pretty much first started their company. You can see there it's just professional coin grading service. It doesn't have the a hologram or anything like that. It has the dot matrix printer and a label. So these Rattlers actually carry a really high premium for, for having that label itself. A lot of people though will crack these open and send them back in and get it regraded because you can get a higher grade than what what it is at times and this is like I said probably one of my favorites besides the Oregon Trail and the railroad uh, coins that we found from Mexico it's a great show my friends it shows you some of the really cool stuff that you can keep get at the coin shows if you definitely keep your eye open and on what you're looking for and you know don't be afraid to ask the different coin dealers where you know if they have certain things because the reason I was able to find the train coins is I asked the dealers that seem to have foreign coins hey do you have um, this in a different 
in your your cases or something like that and sure enough that's how i was lucky enough to get those all right ladies and gentlemen if you want to correspond it's ravenhawk coins at gmail.com the p.o box is 721-296 norman oklahoma 73070 ravenhawk like always please make sure to take care of one another and we'll see you real soon ravenhawk coins have a great day